different way from the back. Just moved in. What? Door above. New label. I'm gonna just replace it. No one ever does that. Hi, I live in the flat just below you. I don't think we've met. Yeah, see, the thing is, I've actually locked my keys in my flat. Yeah, yeah. Can I use your balcony? Maybe lost a lot of money. Suicide rate's pretty high with these city types. We don't know that it was a suicide. Come on. His door was locked from the inside. You had to climb across the balcony. Been away three days, judging by the laundry. Something was packed tightly inside this case. No, oh, thanks. I'll take your word for it. What's the matter? I don't exactly want to go rooting through some guy's dirty underwear. Those symbols of the bank. That graffiti. Why was it put there? Could be some sort of code. Obviously, but I'm saying why paint it? Why not just use email or call them by the phone if you need to? Maybe he wasn't answering. Good, you follow. No. <clears throat> what sort of message would everyone try to avoid? What about this morning? Those letters you were looking at? Bills. Exactly. He was being threatened. Not by the gas board. Hi, Sergeant. I know who you are. I'd prefer it if you didn't tamper with any of the evidence. Don't believe we've met. It's Detective Inspector Dimmock. I think we're obviously dealing with a suicide. That would be the only explanation of all the facts. Wrong. It's one possible explanation of some of the facts. You've got the solution that you want, but you're just choosing to ignore anything that doesn't comply with it. Like, the wound is on the right side of his head, and Bankoon was left-handed. Requires a bit of contortion. Left-handed. Yes. I'm amazed that you didn't notice. All you have to do is look around this flat. Unlikely that a left-handed man would shoot himself on the right side of the head. Conclusion. Someone broke in and murdered him. It's the only explanation after all the facts. How did he get in? Good. You're finally asking all the right questions. 